Welcome to Denizen scripting class, everybody. On these next few videos, we're going to be covering script containers. Those, what script containers are, are pretty much the very files in which you are going to write your scripts. Now that sounds pretty basic, but I promise you each one has its own individual meanings and there's going to be several to cover. However, in these uh, following tutorials, I'm going to cover them in order that I list here because they have an order of importance. So uh, the three that you should absolutely know are going to be command script containers, world script containers, and task script containers. Now there's a reason these three are the most important, but we will cover that as we make the videos. So after that, the next two that you're gonna to wanna to know are um, item script containers and interact script containers. Again, we'll cover them as we get to those videos, but if you wanna go ahead and experiment on your own, uh, I figured I'll give you that information as you will be able to go ahead and figure out how they work. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to pull up the website where we're going to get all of our information from. You can refer to this as your textbook. So you're going to go to your um, your web browser. For me, is Google. You're going to type in Denizen Scripts. Your first result here should be called Denizen Script Repo. Now, this by default is going to take us to this uh, tab search over here called Script Repo, which stands for Script Repository, which is where a bunch of people have posted scripts that they have made over the years. As you can see, there's a lot, and they don't even give an option of how many pages there are. They just has next because there's just that many. But we are not here for that. What I am going to be drawing from this in this tutorial is going to be here in the command search. So I'm going to help you guys to make a very simple clear chat command and I am going to uh, tell you why and show you how to use it. So let me go ahead and go to a more populated area. Get out of the classroom. Okay. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and start writing our script. What we're going to want to do, as you can see, upon starting and reloading, I have a bunch of code here that I just I don't want to look at this is just kind of ugly to see in chat to be honest so what we're gonna do is those are my notes we're gonna go into our denizen folder as you can see we have three subfolders by default meaty schematics and scripts we're gonna to want to go into our scripts subfolder here we are going to make our first file we're gonna call this one command or no sorry we're gonna call this one clear chat dot YML. Okay, once we have that, we are going to start typing our script. We're going to go ahead and call it clear chat. This is going to be our script's internal name. Keep in mind, you can have infinite amount of scripts per file. However, I just called this one clear chat to kind of help you guys um, organize it better. So, next we need to identify what type of script we're typing out. So we're going to type in type command. Next, we're going to have the name, which is going to be the command that we type in chat. For example, when we type in slash home, for example, home is the command that we are typing or the name of the command. So we're going to type in name and we're going to call it chat clear. Next, we're gonna to wanna to add a permission node because by default, if you have a command script, everybody can use it. And you do not want players to be doing this, you know, um, you don't want players doing this, clearing the chat constantly. So what we're going to do is we're gonna type out a permission. Permission, and here you can type in permission node. So you can type in like server.moderator, for example. And anybody who has this permission node will be able to use this command. If they do not have this permission node, they will be told that they cannot use the chat clear command. Next, we need to type out the actual script. Here, we're gonna type out repeat 100. Why 100? Well, I figured out 
Minecraft stores 100 lines of code in chat before it clears it out to make space for new chat. And as you can see, that seems like a pretty arguable, um, pretty, pretty good argument because this is a lot of lines right here. And if you were to just keep scrolling, that's gonna reach uh, 100. I also tested this out by spamming my own chat and seeing what worked. Don't ask me how long that took. So next we're gonna type out uh, narrate and we're just gonna do open and close. Uh, sorry, not open. We're gonna type out two sets of double quotes here. Now what's important to know is that Denizen works in a system of typing two spaces per um, per subline. So for script, we could type this here to be two so that way we can minimize this. Uh, you don't have to though, but I recommend it because it allows us to minimize that and just keep things clean. Next, we have repeat 100 with a colon here and notice we have narrate two afterwards. This means everything that's underneath this is going to get repeated 100 times. If I were to type uh, narrate test, then that means it'll repeat open parentheses and then it'll say test at the end of it. To show you guys an example, we're going to go ahead and save and we're going to reload by typing ex reload. Now, if we type in chat clear, as you can see, all of that annoying code went away and we were sent with a message called test. Now, if you don't want this, all you have to do is simply delete that line. And with that, if we reload again and type in chat clear. It's all gone and no test message this time. The one thing that makes it useful is the fact that you can run other commands afterwards. Again, if you are curious as to what commands you can use in the game, uh, you can draw upon the command search and you can simply just scroll down to see what might help you. There's a lot of confusing ones such as event, reload, SQL, webget, but as you go down, you'll start to notice some more universal ones such as flag and uh, note, zap, reset. Um, there's a bunch of other ones that we can use as well that will be pretty common, especially with an entity, player, NPC server and world. Yeah, there are a ton of different things that we can do. So with that being said, feel free to take a look at your leisure. However, I'm going to be sticking to more simple things here. And I'm going to re-add the this because I plan to make Denizen notes for you guys so you can uh, download it and kind of see how it works yourself. But ladies and gentlemen, here you have finally officially made your first command script container. So there's going to be a lot to cover. You just give me the cold shoulder. There's going to be a lot to cover as we make this tutorial and um, of course, there's so many things I'm not going to be able to explain right off the bat, such as player tags and such like that. Uh, I will get to it in following tutorials, so please make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, again, I can't really get to it all right away because the amount of things you can do is just so vast that it's literally impossible for me to cover every single thing Denizen is capable of. So with that being said, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe if this video, uh, if this tutorial inspired you, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more future content. Uh, stick around, we're going to have a, a lot of tutorials in the series. Again, my next tutorials are going to be covering the other script containers that I mentioned. So, yeah, stay tuned. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, class.